Cinema 4D is very famous for its easy motion graphics animation tools and one of them is MoGraph right here. So let's explore that out. So over here in MoGraph, there's something called Cloner, which is a very uh, common effect to be used in most animations. So I'm going to use that as an example. So for that, first of all, let me grab something like uh, just like a tube right here. So I'm going to use my MoGraph on this one right here. So I'm going to go over here onto MoGraph and I'm going to use Cloner. And it is a generative object right here. So I have to make uh, the object, the tube object, the child of Cloner. And once I drag it in, you can see that something happens. So you can see on the clones, there are actually copies of this. This is not being extruded, but it is cof a copy copied version of the tube right here. Right now, it's, uh, the, its mode is linear. There are different modes which are going to explore in a while. There's clones, as you can see, there's object, there's linear and so forth. So let's look at the linear first. So there's clones over here, which is iterate. There's another thing such as random, bend and so on. So I'm just going to go over here into iterate. So fix clone, let's just like that. If I were to increase the count of the clone, the uh, linear, uh, the well, you can see that it actually increases and decreases. But if I were to increase the offset, you can see that it changes the area of the offset here as well. Over here, let's just do this. Let's just change the um, change the space just like that. So if I'm going to grab the tube, if I were to decrease this in size, you can see that these are actually individual pieces of clone uh, of the tube right here. These are all being duplicated just like that. So let me just go back to cloner right here and let's see how we can work with this. Let me decrease the size of this right here so we can see that everything is in space. So I'm going to go into my cloner right here. Let's see what else we can do this. We can increase and decrease the count. We can change the offset of the cloner. Seems like it is moving out. There's mode per step and endpoint as you can see, which are going to see further out later. This is the amount of the spacing as you can see. You can also increase the spacing more than 100% if you click and drag it as you can see right there. And there's also different ways on how you can bend this out right here. So Y axis right there, Z axis, and there you go. So different type of options you see over here. You can also change its size as you can see right here as it actually uh, becomes bigger just like this and change the height, the rotation just like that. So it really is interesting as you can see right there. And all of this happens and all of this can actually add in keyframes. There's also different values right here. So you can have cumulative values. You can increase the step size here. You can increase the step rotation right uh, like this as well and just like that. And it'll increase the rotation accordingly. So if I were to increase the count, you can see that this is how it increases the steps just like that. So let me just increase it and we can see that it actually looks like a whirlpool right over there. And this is just the linear. So you can see that how you don't have to control the individual objects, but you can actually add in settings like this to create different op uh, different settings just like that. So now yeah, there's the linear mode. Object mode is when it takes object as a reference, but we're not going to use that right now. Let's use the radial right here. So radial is when it actually is round. So I can increase the count size here. I can increase the radius and you can see how that works out for you. So there's also plane, like you can change the amount of plane that you're going to use. So X, Y, Z, Y, and so forth, just like that. So let me just change that to straight. You can also change the end angle as you can see to have something like a soup type of an animation right there and also work around with the start angle as well. You can also work around with the offset to rotate them around or offset variant right here to create a randomized effect just like that. You can also uh, work around with the offset seed to make it randomly appear and disappear just like that. So that is how you can work around with the radio. So another one is the grid. So it actually arranges everything out in a grid. So you can have something like a grid over here. So I'm just going to increase this in size and you can see that this is how it looks like. So if I were to increase this two, three folds and just like that, you can see that it arranges everything out in a grid just like the, this. So let's see how we can work around with this. So I can change around the mode right here. I can increase and decrease the size, the density just like this, keep them a bit of closer just like that. So this is a cubic type of grid as you can see. So over here, this is all cubic. Uh, you can also work around with the fill and so forth. So that's, you can also work around with the spear just like that. 
So you can increase this to make it seem as if it is a sphere rather than a cube just like that. So you can make it ar around like a sphere, like a cylinder if you want to, as you can see. So now this is more like a cylinder and that's the object itself as well. So you can, you have to choose the object for this one, which you're not going to look right now. So this is how you work around with the grid. And another one is honeycomb. So you can see honeycomb type here where there is a bunch of grid lines just like that. So let's see the options that it gives. So there's clones right here. So uh, now if I were to increase the offset, you can see that it offsets the alternative lines right there. You can increase and decrease the count, count lines just like this and also the per step right here. So you can also increase and decrease the size width right here. So you can decrease the side, increase the size just like that. Also, you can change it into a square, into a circle just like this. So you can see that if I were to uh, increase this in size, it is more like a circle now. There's the square just like that. There's the spline. So you can work around with the spline as well, which we're not going to see right now. So this is how you can work around with different sorts of uh, cloners just like that and this is just in the cloner setting just like that so that is how uh, you can use cloner inside of MoGraph uh, inside of Cinema 4D hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe